What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Canon EF-M 32mm f1.4 lens and this is my favorite lens so I might be just a little bit biased. Nonetheless, I'm going to be providing you with sample clips and an overall of what I think about the lens. Before this video starts, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out and comment down below what lens and camera, what basically setup you're rocking right now because I want to know. So first thing we're going to talk about right off the bat is just price. This lens comes in at just under $500 on Amazon, I believe about $478, but on eBay you can find a used one for like $420. That's a great price. When looking for a used lens, make sure you really follow the too good to be true rule. If you find this lens for $200 on eBay, most likely it's a scam. I've fallen for those before, so just make sure you don't do the same. All right, so now that price is out of the way, we're gonna talk photos. So photos, I guess I'll just show you some photos I've taken with this lens. I love it so much, and because I've never had such a low, uh, such a wide aperture before, that I wasn't able to really get the kind of cinematic blurry background feel, but here's some photos I've taken. All right, so you guys saw those photos. You see what potential this lens has within the photo side of things. But right now, let's switch over to video. First thing you need to know if you're gonna be filming video with this lens is you need an ND filter. It's almost impossible to shoot outdoors with an aperture so wide and have it not be overexposed. So let me show you real quick what that looks like without an ND filter. So as you can see, this is ridiculous, but this is what this shot looks like without an ND filter on. So let me go ahead and put that right back on. So variable ND filters are super important and super good investment for your lens. And you're gonna need one for this lens. ND filters also, in my opinion, just give the film more of like a cinematic feel. So aside from needing an ND filter, let's talk about a negative. This lens is not for vlogging. It's a 32 millimeter and it punches in really far. So I'm gonna scoot up to arm's length real quick for you guys. And this is how it looks. Generally, when you're vlogging, you wanna be able to show people your background and what's going on. But when you can't do that, you can't really vlog. It just, if you're planning on vlogging, this is not the lens for you. One thing that comes to mind as soon as I see the film from this lens is short film. It is just screaming short film to me. A Canon M50 with this lens and an ND filter, I'm sorry, it just is. It's screaming short film. I, I wanna make a short film now, should I? What should it be about? Comment down below. So obviously, there are a wide variety of things you can do with this lens, but let me list off the main ones that I found the most effective. So portraits is a beast and it can earn you back the money you spent on this lens. So number two is medium budget cinematic shots. So this entire setup I'm using right now costs about 1200 which isn't terrible, but it is a big sum of money. But I think it is worth it because you are reinvesting in yourself to make more money. As with those medium budget cinematic shots, pretty much a short film, as I said earlier. And last but not least, unsolicited duck pics. All jokes aside, this lens is a beast and a game changer to the Canon EFM line. I'm so excited to keep using this lens. This isn't sponsored by the way, this is just actually what I think. And so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you stuck around to the end, subscribe, leave a like. I'm gonna have a bunch more videos coming out. And that's it for me today. See you guys in the next video. Peace.